good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here, and welcome to the newest addition to the channel, a new series, something that I'm really, I put a lot of hours into. We're just going to skip all of that. Welcome to Total Warhammer. Um, this has been done before by a lot of people, but today I've decided to bring you a thematic campaign. I just want to flex the amount of time I have on this, so I'm not new to this. Um, today we'll be playing SFO Grim Hammer, and we'll be doing a thematic Beastman campaign with the mod level 50 lords, because I like to get my lords we must leveled this world. up. So, let's skip all these guys and go right to the Beastmen, because who are we going to pick today? We have a couple chores. We have Kazarak, the One-Eyed, Malgor, the Dark Omen, and then we have Morgor, the Shadow Grave. Both of them, all three of them, excellent picks. I'll be diving into some Beastmen lore. I don't know too much about these guys, but about the whole Braze and all that other fun stuff. I don't like Molgar's start because um, he starts up in the north, part of the Empire. There's elves over here. There's green skins over here. You've got the Norska, who you usually want to ally with. So you kind of end up pushing into Empire territory really quickly. Because the rack kind of just eats at the soft underbelly here. Goes into the mountains. Pretty easy campaign. And then you have Malgor the Dark Omen. While well, these two guys are more focused on melee, we have a magic. We have, he's a brave shaman. He starts in the southern badlands, all the way on the bottom of the map, and he's got to push his way all the way up. That means lots of combat, lots of fun. He gets some more unique starting units compared to some of the harpies and the you know, hounds of pestilence or you know, Hazaroxes, gore herds, minotaurs, and more gore herds. He starts off actually arguably weaker than the other two generals and his buffs aren't that too decent he gets a lot of buffs for gray shamans and some uh enemy wins and magic bonuses and it's a lot of enemy buffs well these guys have more buffs based on their own herd like minus 25 percent recruitment rate for beastie gores plus two recruitment rate for beast beastie gores i'm gonna call them beastie gores not bestie gores because that's just how I read it on the Wikipedia page. And then Malgor here has got all sorts of, oh sorry, Morgar, sorry. Um, Morgar has got all sorts of fun shit with chaos and upkeep and just, uh, just, he feels so underpowered, but I'm gonna bring Malgar, the Dark Omen, the man, Bane, the bringer of the end times. Let's jump right into this enough emasculating and of talking the chaos moon looms across the sky it is a dark omen a demand from the ruinous powers that the cloven one rise up the long despoiler of the sacred himself malgor has made it to the long ruined city of morkin deep in the badlands he reveals it is ruins of gl a glorious reminder of a surrendered civilization for those who would follow him and what will come to pass malgor's desire be fulfilled so begins the crow father's destructive pass path something Wicked is coming. Your hour approaches, Crowfather. Here amongst the ruins of Morkin, a once Here amongst proud the ruins of Morkin, a once proud. Oh. You have prophesied <laughs> the end of all uncloven. Yet the time for portents is done. We must move. In distant lands, other war herds move through their own blood grounds. In time, you may encounter them as either friend or foe. Know that you have kin, but trust only in yourself. Further north, past the mystic forest of Athelorin, is Britonia. Arrogant and aloof, its glittering spires are sure sign of self-righteousness. You should bring ruin to this pretty realm. East of Britonia lies the Empire, the very pinnacle of mankind's hubris. Its capital, Altdorf, is the center of power and a symbol of its surety. Reduce it all to rubble. Let pandemonium reign. The Empire is powerful, but divided. You must strike soon, for it may yet unify and seek to bring civilization to the blood grounds. To the south, the border princes hold a tentative grip on all that they call theirs. Yet they are isolated by the mountains and the Blackfire Pass. 
soft targets for a hungry herd such as ours. Though the dwarfs and greenskins lie between us and the realms of man, Malagor, they are trifling obstacles. You are the Dark Omen. Dar are you destined to bring an unending age of destruction to man's uncloven world. I do like the way that he says greenskins. So basically, um, what you used to be able to do, and the whole objective of this campaign is just to crush everyone over here. Uh, what you used to be able to do is just go down here, knock out, you know, Setra the Imperishable, you know, take care of, um, forgot his name over here, take care of Elizabeth's down here, you know, all this stuff, and just kind of wipe this out, and once you hit level 20, you get your death stacks going, so, you know, uh, 20 units of beastie cores, uh, and just run it down to the top. Um, this, the SFO mod fixes this, uh, Grimbane takes care of that, and also with the addition of uh, fortresses, a lot of these key choke points and these mountain passes over here are incredibly de highly defended and damn near impossible to take out late game. So there is a bit of a rush to this game. Um, I'm not going to focus on that too much. If we have to, we can just gut our way over here, beef up, and then just raid to the north. It'll be lots of fun. Uh, we do get some vision. We do get some vision on some other herds. We have Ungruel over here with some cuties, uh, my little beastie babies. But we'll focus on what we have over here. We have Malgor the Dark Omen, who starts off with Ungor Herd, Ungor Spearmen, Ungor Spearmen, uh, two Ungor uh, Spearmen, Herd, Shields, my bad, uh, some Raiders, Beastmen, Giants, and Hounds of Pestilence. Uh, this mod fix, uh, troop, it fix troops numbers, or... Uh, the uh, unit size, you know, how many units there is, or characters, troops, I don't know what you'd call it. And then we have uh, Goros Heartrender over here, a little bit weaker with him, but, you know, that's what we're starting with here. Let's go over to the tech tree here, because we have a lot of stuff to deal with here. Um, you can buff up troops with specific research points, spending... Uh, some currency that is known as tribal call which you gain from uh, sacking and raising settlements and a bunch of uh, other quests uh, you can upgrade them even further uh, you have some I don't I didn't pay too much attention to the names of the beastmen tech when I did play beastmen it was just oh hey this makes troops cheaper and you know you rush that so you have this everything costs um, research rate so you start off with 126%, yada, yada, yada. And then you have these core builds here, so end their lives. That caps out at recent rage plus 10, leadership plus 1, upkeep minus 3, travel call plus 10. Uh, you phrase their cities, uh, you know. And each one of these gives a little bit of a special bonus. But we're going to focus on end their lives, because we're going to want to make things pretty cheap on for starters. This is Malgor the Dark Omen. We're going to work on our on our campaign skills right off the bat. We're going to get we're going to speed run or rush lightning strike. That's crucial immortal empires if you want to make it anywhere at all. And we'll just rock and roll with this right now. So there's a couple places we could go. We could go north. Um, but I find that if we f mess around here down the south a little bit and take care of Relations with foreign powers well, may be top knots that is around here. We can definitely take care of carefully these carefully guys. So let's exit the, the diplomacy there. Let's what is what we got here. Cabinet is still 25%. Move him to 26. We'll camp. Get him some troops here. Um Beastman economy is really cash strapped in this start. That's just how they are meant to be. Um, until you start really just raiding. Uh, we're we're going to ignore the Alboraz for a bit. We're not going to really fuck around with mashed one finger. Because um, I don't want to get my army booty slapped. So we're just going to end this turn here. Probably edit this out. Just to make things not too annoying. Maybe I'll leave it in because the turn timers have been fixed recently in this game. So literally, it's just a matter of seconds. And there we go. Tyrants of the Black Ocean. 
from a good ha ha Bray shaman's dream about the future of the herds it's shrouded in mist with the smell of fresh blood a choice must be made to find the prophecy legendary leaders so this looks like unit abilities clover one paths own path herds Ah, and Dark Devotion is a crafting ingredient for kind of the same stuff that the Tomb Kings and the Dwarves have. It's a very cool little thing. I'm going to go with Herds. Um, growing and having our troops cheaper is just going to benefit us in the long run. You can build those sorts of fun stuff here. You can build followers. You can build Herd Stones, Cloven Ones, which allows you access to Pesty Gores. Crone Gores, Slain Gores, Tazan Gores, Mutated Warhound Units, Wild Dragon Ogres, you got Bonds, you have Ascensions, it's really, this mod is a must for Beastman Enthusiast, it's a real, not even Enthusiast, it's just a really nice mod to go with, so, we want to get some Ambush going here, Evasion Chance is nice, Path to War, we're just gonna just oh we don't have enough money well you know, we're just gonna set it on that we're just gonna ignore that for 12 turns much fun malgore my guy so let's have some fun uh a gruel mig hall small garrison five units we did some raiding last turn we're gonna beast path and we're just gonna keep moving here Ah, and they do have a unique stance. If you did saw it, oh, hey. Well, this is awkward. Might have a battle on us here right away. This was a bit of a bit of a poor move on my part. You know, I, I admit to that. My apologies. Top knots is going to. Oh, looks like he's going to actually occupy his settlement, which is going to make it. A bit of a risk Ooh. okay so there's an option with this game and that makes it closer to the tabletop so there's army caps I'm not really a fan of those uh, tomb that's like that is one of the reasons why I don't play tomb king it's because of unit caps uh, I know it adds a bit of complexity to the game it's just not something I enjoy I'll just be honest with you we're always gonna do a quick save here uh, just in case some bullshit happens, computer dies, or, you know, just some really bad cheese happens, we'll fix it, you know? And that's what we'll do. Tactical map. Looks like he's going to have some reinforcements here. He's got some boars. I think there's some orc boys riders, perhaps. It's Icky Iron Jar versus the Immaculate Malgor, the Dark Omen. I don't know if he starts with spells. It's been a while since I played Malgor. I've been doing a lot of Norska gameplay and stuff. Uh, 33 is way more than enough than Malgor needs. Malgor does start off with some starting spells, which can be really nice. So, same old, same old. Gonna put the hounds over here. Look at the little houndsy boys. Look at the little puppies, little doggos. Uh, they're beautiful. Oh, yes. You, mmm. I'd love to pet you. Uh, we're going to have these guys kind of sit on the other side of this hill and hopefully the we'll get some backline firing the orcs. I'm going to disband these guys as soon as we get a reliable source of income. Just not enough units and it's just, just complete garbage in my honest opinion. Um, we could play this a little interesting here. Uh, this. I have the, yeah, there we go. Um, they do have, they do have those spear items, and it wouldn't hurt to properly set up a spear, you know, because the anti-charge bonus of the spearman. But, you know, let's give everyone a little, little look-see here. We have our, have our little Ungor herd axe infantry with their little horns some mutated more than others and then we move on over here look at these guys we got our spears over here just spears some plate armor hooves some really basic stuff and then we got big chad dad here look at this guy an absolute mongo even has a little chaos corruption uh, insignia burn onto his skin with some beastman's um shields tied onto him definitely one of my favorite designs for the uh 
the Giants. I do love the Giants. And we have Malgor himself right here in the front. Immaculate as he always should be. This will definitely be a fun fight. Let's start the battle here. Everything's about even. And look at they start with everything on the board. And I didn't know that. That's going to be an issue. Let's just have everyone fall the fuck back. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. So they start with everyone on the board. That's a shame. Looks like they're going to do some rotation here. To the left. Uh... One group, let's pause here. Have you guys set up there? Have you guys set up there? Uh, remember that spot right there. Boom. Boom. I have these guys. Um, this is a bit of a hill. We can have them sit up there. We'll have our beast. Big beaster. Our, our giant. And then that. And then, well, we gotta wait for the reinforcements to, uh, to unfortunately come. Hopefully we don't mess this up too bad. Looks like, oh man, are they really gonna wait this out? No, it looks like they're gonna just, um... What are they doing? Well, we do have time to put these guys here. Alright, looks like the orcs are getting ready to do something here. Uh, hopefully they're tired a little bit. It's like they're setting up for that. I'm gonna just kind of bait them out here. Well, do we outnumber them? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We do have three extra units on them. Doesn't mean we don't have to play this safe though. I'd like to bait some things out because. But granted, it's just archers. These guys are terrible. The only reason why I'm keeping them in the army is because, well, it adds something to the attack bonus. <sighs> Let's have them attack. Just because we're beastmen doesn't mean we have to act like beasts. It looks like we might just have to, though, which is a bit unfortunate, so... We'll send these guys here. And then we'll have our bulk of the army actually take care of those up there. No, I don't want these spearmen. I want you to go there. And push this flank up. That's what I want. Take care of those archers. Have that go. Have that go. Send the the midst of that of Malgor take care of that we'll have our back archers just pepper everything else let's go let's go on the offensive boys I think it's time for the beast herd to do some killing in the blood grounds let's get this under away I do like Goros um, I do like the heart render, the dual axe. He's uh, nice and red too. Looks nice and pretty. Malagor's gonna get going up here in the mountains a little bit. Looks like our little hounds of pestilence are getting in. How are they winning this? Looks like they're slightly losing. That's gonna peel them off actually. And if I can get them in the backs here, you know what, Malagor? That's close enough. Boom! Oh, a little bit of pestilence. A little bit of death, a little bit of glory. We got here some more little breath. Get them. Get them, Al Gore. There we go. Weakening them ever so slightly. Let's get the dog pile on going here. Looks like 
Looks like what I plan to have happen is going to happen here. Spearmen are going to clash on the hills here, trapping the cavalry up here. Oof. They're losing that engagement, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's peel these guys off. And, oh, God, they're really fucking losing. Ooh, that's not good at all. Let's... Well, let's, let's pull, peel them off there. Let's keep, this, let's keep this party going here. Down here on the front lines, pushing back these orcs. These green skins that just are about to get cloved. Uh, two... One. Looks like some of the units have been route, rooted a bit. Uh, a little too close there. Can we get the back line here. A little bit. A whole lot. Uh, looks like we peppered them. Oh, looks like. Yeah, see, that's why I don't like the spearmen all that too much. Weak. Not resilient. We'll send our little hounds back into there. Have these guys crash into the back there. Have these guys reclaim what we have going on here. Where is our Eastman giant? My dude, where are you at? Please do some damage to their general. Okay, looks like we have a route up there. Which means we'll send this into the back of there. We'll have these archers and everyone. There's a timer for my phone. I'm so sorry about that. Breaks the immersion. Yo, we keep going here. Where's Goros, my dude? Come on, you're supposed to be killing in the proving ground. Malgor, what's going on? Dude, another wave of Bray Scream. No cracking in the morale there. Let these guys crash back in. I do hear some sirens going. That could be the route of all routes. It might just be for my own troops. It does look like the other general is starting to falter. Let's go up here on the battle on the hill. Looks like these guys are retreating. We can peel off these spearmen. I apologize, guys, my mic ended up dying on that one uh, it's a constant problem we're getting some loot we've ranked up lost 551 troops they lost everything captured 224 enemies ladies and gentlemen i think well it's not a lot of gold let's raise and defile There's some more growth going on now let's take a second to look at our loot all right, so let's check this out. Unfortunately, we have some attrition going on here, which is something I don't like to see. I don't like, uh, we'll talk about some gripes with this game, but we're going to put him, Mr. Goros, over here into that encampment stance. We're going to see Malgord here. So the first thing you'll notice is I'm level two and I have two skill points. I think for the first five levels, um, in SFO Grimhammer, you get two skill points. Some good stuff. Now, I could go for Veltide. Um, I would try to make my objective in this game to not auto-resolve as much as I have to. Um, small armies I'll probably do it on. Uh, big armies that if I don't know if I can, you know, you know micromanage myself, I'll probably um, auto-resolve on. So, 
it's tempting. It's definitely tempting to take care of Vile Tide. There's a bunch of other fun stuff in here. Um, but we're going to go with Gargantuan Moves because it's 10% movement speed. Uh, sorry, range. The ground shakes. The earth moves. The spirit the spirit trembles. The beastman comes. So then we have a couple other ones. Feasting upon man. It's just income from raiding. Uh, blessed by evil. Upkeep minus three for all units. Recruitment cost minus three for all units. Dark Apothecary. Attrition minus three. Horde building construction cost minus three percent. Ruination. Enemy siege holdout time minus one. We're going to do blessed by evil because if you can't tell already, I'm going to be making everything as cheap as possible. Um, it just works. Just having more money as the beastman really just works it works nicely got some horde upgrades for goros here uh looks like well he can't get that i think he gets a level two uh until he gets the hag tree so we can't get the pit hovel until we get the hag tree so let's get the hag tree cops the hag trees which carry countless vile fetishes in their jagged branches are natural meeting places for wards we get some more income more campaign range uh, do we get more corruption we do we get a whopping plus one it's a more tribal call hack tree it is and that'll be our turn so beastman rising setup of this just adds more beastmen yes of course the i'll do it are hidden ways um, known only to the cloven ones use them my brutal lord to traverse the forests i choose that one because when it comes to the end time events uh according to the tabletop it's pretty uh it's pretty fucking end timey so we're gonna want as many beastmen uh herds as we're gonna get um mashed one finger somehow got out of there alive i don't know how he did that uh we're gonna have malgor here malgor did end up picking the blackened plate armor plus three plus visibility blackened plate which is flame resistance which if he was a tomb king would be nice but he's a beastman so not really not really much of anything right there we could could we could do we could do a raiding party uh into a raiding horde but i don't i don't think that's um i think it's necessary this is my first time actually checking out unique wild dragon ogre this is the sacrificial grounds, and then we get the Crow Father's altar and the Shrine of Disaster, which, oh my goodness, would you look at that? That is just crazy. We'll be focusing on saving up money for this come a tier three horde. Looks like, well, if we just sit in the camp spot this turn, we'll get some stuff. Um, you know what? We just might have to do that. We'll get some more growth going, and I'll see you after this turn. All right, so here we are back. Rumors are true. Do the empire? Should we? Should we unite the empire? Should we? Will we be strong enough? Um, the rumors I'm gonna say are false. This isn't so much as making it easier on me. Empire provinces stay fighting. Also, when you do that, um, I'm gonna definitely take some more time down here and if you let that happen they just span out like a cancerous tumor and get death stacks pretty early on in this game that's you know not, not, not too much fun to play with uh so we are going to just uh if i can find my lord thank you very much looks like looks like we're gonna go to gore's gazan uh malagor my good son oh well, gore says he already got some early access to some other stuff here uh, oh, that is Goros. Uh, oh, we lack funds. That's why. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll just uh, we'll just move. We'll move Malgor. I think we're gonna just move Malgor over to Gore's Gazan. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna call that a part because so we're gonna be pretty lengthy. I gotta edit some of this stuff out. So gotta make it easy on me. Gotta make it easy on you guys in case you wanna watch this kind of stuff so we're gonna go into the hidden encampment spot um i will max ambush at some point well this is the ambush this is the ambush stance this um this counts as this counts as the ambush stance for the beastman i believe because i don't see one 
<laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. We'll end this turn, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so we have a quest, Mash One Finger. So we gotta defeat him, the Lord himself, Mash One Finger, with four troops. Looks like we can just get to him. So we're gonna dive him as Malgor with a fully healed up unit here. Battle deployment. Um, this is this is a situation where I'm gonna auto resolve this just because I can't I probably won't be able to kill all of this he'll get away it's annoying to skirmish this stuff this early in the game we're gonna devour the captives though because us beastmen we need fresh blood we need food dragged to sacrifices before the herdstone captives are ripped apart and consumed by the ever ravenous beastmen delicious some nice crispy green skin it looks like we've got a scroll of leeching um I don't know what that does. The ability scroll of leeching is tattered and stained scroll should not be held in one's hand for long as it steals all manner of essence. Greatly reduced power recharge time. Is that good? Not that bad. I don't know my items all that well, but you know what we're gonna do? Ooh, we don't have enough. Ooh, that's unfortunate. We don't have enough movement range to get him out of attrition. So sadly, uh, Mr. Goros here will take uh sorry, Mr. Malgor. We'll be taking some attrition this turn. We'll move Goros into some territory here. Uh, and you know what? You're just gonna have to suffer, Malgor. What we do, and we're just gonna make everything nice and cheap. So we're gonna give him Bless by Evil, which is gonna boost that income up quite a bit. Goros, though, you know what? You're gonna have the Pit Hobble. You earned it. Uh, I will see what we got here. There we go. Equip that. That was a magic resistance. I'll give it to Goros because he does do the fighting. And you know what? We'll end this turn. And I'll see ya at the end of it. Hey, welcome back. Looks like, oh, dark choice. The ruinous powers take grim pleasure in your endeavors. In their dark mirth, girth, their dark girth, they grant a boon. Which of their gifts will you choose? The Gorbo or the Bray Shaman? Well, Malgor's already a... Bray Shaman. I always take the Gorbo because it's just nice. And look at this, the Dark Moon. Morshleb is ascendant, usurping the sun's revered place in the ferment. The world is awash with its sick and terrible hue. Such an event is almost unheard of. It is a call to the beastmen. A sign that the herd is an opportunity to dominate. Let the beast lord seize glory. So we have a couple of options here. When one falls, all damage units will be fully replenished. Horde growth is minus 18. This is usually nice when you just auto resolve spam, 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 spam. You bank on the dark mood having this. The only problem is you get no horde growth for two turns. No matter how far, campaign movement range, but always tired in battle for three turns. Almost fight, minus 30% upkeep for all units. Melee defense 15 for three turns. Endless herd. Casualty replenish rate is minus 15%, but hard horde growth is plus 15 we're gonna do all this fight melee defense is in in is is indifferent look it comes we're gonna move malgor first because if we put the gore bowl in we're gonna lose some movement uh so we're gonna encamp we get up gore bowl and train up some troops and you know what we're gonna do we're gonna turn oh there we go goros what the hell Okay, that was a bit spooky. Uh, we're gonna do some feasting upon man with you, because you know what? We're just gonna have you let's start some. We're gonna do some raiding, because we gotta we gotta make some money. We're broke. We got Setra the Imperishable down here. Uh, he's gonna have all sorts of kind words for us. Uh, we're gonna end this turn, and I'll see ya afterwards. So we've just unlocked Grizzly Trophies, research, research rate minus 10%, Horde of Building Construction cheaper, Horde Stones, Herd Storms, not Horde Stones, my bad. Uh, let's get moving here. Have you take the underway? Uh, we can. We're going to do this, we're gonna do this a bit slowly here. We're going to go... Uh, 
Uh, it's it's really slow in the start of the Beastman campaign. Uh, it's a lot of maneuvering. It's a lot of just small stuff getting your herd going. Um, it's a lot of work, and it can really bog down the path. So, pact to pact, or even a treaty, if they're actually somewhere agreeable. So it looks like Ushorn is going to want to make allies with us. Unfortunately, the Dark Gods don't want that. We're going to end up killing him. We're probably going to take Gorzan, and then in the next part, start off taking out Xandru. We're going to 45 here. Boom. Encamp. We'll hit the... Uh, we'll hit the encamp button with you, my dude. And you know what? We'll just throw in... Two on War Herds. And we'll end this turn, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so Goros, Goros has done it, he's got some nice troops, we're just going to move him into there, you know what, I'll just move him, uh oh, yes. move him into the raiding stance, Malgor can just stay here and heal up his wounds just a little bit, looks like we can build something else too, we could build this, but um, I don't really see any, I don't use harpies, I don't use Hounds of Pestilence, I don't use Beastmen Warhounds, Chaos Spawns are questionable, Giant Feral Mantle Core is probably worth it, Mutated Hound, Warhound. You know, maybe, but not right now. Money, Money's a little money's a little tight in the Beastmen economy. Oh, Gorzan, ooh, has a quite, has a much Bit, wow, that's quite the garrison, actually. I don't want to mess with that. Let's... Ooh, looks like troops got even more expensive. We'll just throw two more into there. End this turn, and I'll be right back. Well, look who decided to show up. I don't know. Oh, he's in encampment range, too. Damn it. What is this even going to be? I want that. That's what it's going to be. Wow, that actually sucks. Let me walk up to it, guys. This might be this might be the treat after all for you. Uh, let's, let's see what we can do here. That is not winnable. Oof. You know what? I think I'll call that a part, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here playing S O S F O Grimhammer Beast Men thematic campaign. Hope you guys did enjoy the content, and I will see you in the next part when we figure out how to deal with Shifty Dribble Chin. See ya. Bye bye.